Hello everyone and welcome to part 5 of the Cupcake Tutorial series. In this one we will be creating the Raspberry in a procedural way with Geometry Notes. If you like the series so far, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I'll enjoy any one of those and let's dive right in. For the Raspberry, I am going to hit Shift A, Mesh, Cube, GX. Just move this off to the side a little bit and press S to scale this into the dimensions of perhaps a Raspberry would be fun. Then the bottom in edit mode, select that bottom face, S, scale that down a little bit like that. Right, so let's just make the shape of a raspberry. The top, E, Z, and scale that down like that. Let's make this double click that loop, G, Z. And go into object mode and just add a subdivision modifier. There we go, subdivision surface. And now let's just make sure that everything looks like a raspberry, the default shape. So press tab, A. S shift Z if you want this to be wider and not higher, right? There we go. About the shape of a raspberry, I'd say. We can always tweak that later. Fun about procedural things. Right mouse shade smooth. New geometry node setup. And there we go. If you can't find the setup, make sure to press home. It will get you to your setup. And now, to make this, right, we need... To get those individual little points. Now how do we do that? Um, it's quite easy actually. We can hit shift A and find a distribute points on faces and connect that in between. And it's gonna add points to our surface, right? And we can visualize how this looks by already adding instances on these points. So shift A instance on points. There we go. And the instance, drag that out. Let's make this an ICO no, let's make this a cube. There we go. Crank down the size to about 0.5. No, smaller. 0 0.025. No, 0 0.25. Shift A, subdivide a surface. There we go. That's going to make them round. And that is going to be our start point. All right. So now hit Shift A and set shade smooth. There we go. That way we can smooth them that out. Now, this distribution is a little bit too random, all right? We want this to be a bit more controlled. So in our distribute points to faces, we can set this from random to poison disk, right? And that means that we can give a minimum distance that we want to have between the points, which can avoid collisions, basically, right? So let's crank our distance minimum up a little bit, and let's crank the density up to 100, perhaps? We can add even more, like 1,000. Um, because uh, the real density will be limited by that minimum distance, as you can see. All right, that already looks quite nice. Um, perhaps they have to be a little bit bigger, though. So let's increase the size of our cube to be right about there. And let's increase the density between the points, like that. And let's also add Shift A, a random value. Because I want every point, every little part of this raspberry to be a little bit different in size, okay? So let's set this to be a float, even though this input is a vector, right? But using a float means that we're going to control all these values, x, y, and z, in the same value. It's going to scale it uniformly, which is perfect. Minimum scale, set this to like 0.8 and connect this in the scale, right? So everything will be just slightly different. And let's just set the density to be like 5,000, you know, just to fill everything up. And you can change the seed to really get the, the, the filling that you like, right? Beautiful. Don't play around too much because you will get lost in just playing around with different seeds. I do it all the time, like now. Something like that looks quite interesting, I'd say. All right. And perhaps we need even bigger um, parts, something like that. Change the distance to be a bit bigger something like something like that looks quite all right okay um so now this is a beautiful looking raspberry right but the top needs to be open and i i really can't figure out the right size 0 0.5 right let's stick to 0 0.5 like that all right so i want the top of this raspberry to be open right like this i have a little hole so how do we do that well Luckily, it's quite easy. All right. So what we can do in the distribute points on faces, we have an input that defines our um, selection, like where we want to distribute points, and also the density factor, right? 
and we have um, a node that we can use to specify where on the mesh it's going to be um, going to be distributed and you have to see it like this this is basically the shape right and our surface has normal directions all over it which are perpendicular to a face right they always point out unless your normals are inverted then they point in um, so they point in this direction right and we can compare the direction of a normal with for example the normal of the z direction the global z direction is up right and we can compare the normal direction for example this one with the normal in the z direction or with the vector in the z direction and then we can specify the angle in which you want to delete the points right and the way that works is press shift a and find a compare node right and set this to be a vector vector a is going to be the normal of our mesh and vector b can just be one perhaps and then we want this to not be element wise but direction which means we can actually specify the angle right and then the result let's set this to be the selection right and now if we crank this up you can see it is going to actually delete our points there right exactly as what we specified earlier beautiful so that already looks like a little bit of a raspberry right perhaps not fully but i think we're close enough right and now you can change this in any mode it will look beautiful all right nice nice we're really getting there so what the thing is about the raspberry is that they have little hair points right they have little points with hair sticking out of them that adds a lot of detail so how do we do that well we already set the foundation we have got our instances here right after which we want to add those hairs so once again shift a distribute points on faces and don't add it in between but at the bottom connect that there and let's hit shift a and find a join geometry there we go and connect this in here as well the reason why we add a new geometry a join geometry node is because we want to add new geometry and join that with the old geometry right we don't want to replace it with new geometry and this shows already that we have got some points spawning right and the density i want this to be lower so basically only one points pounds i guess per object um there we go let's make this a little bit different um i don't like the way they spawn they spawn too much um in in like a cluster so let's move this to the right a little bit shift a and realize our instances there we go so if we realize the instances it is actually going to make our mesh um, real right which means it's going to distribute points on the actual mesh right and we can crank up the density there we go and we can set this to be poison disk as well add a little bit of minimum density and set the density to be like 5000 again and just crank up that that distance a little bit so it looks looks better something like that perhaps right and then we can hit shift a right behind the point distribution shift a instance on points no instance on points and then we can use the instance to be a curved line right because we want to add hairs which are thin curves basically then we can set the rotation of those instances right the rotation to be this rotation right which is basically going to be um, the normal direction of our object and so then we can just scale them down a little bit right so they are less less long something like that then we can afterwards do a little realize instances right shift a resample curve that's going to add more geometry to our curves and then shift a set position there with the offset to be a noise texture right and then connect the color to the offset hit shift a vector math and change this to subtract and set 0.5 there we go now i know that was a lot in a very short time um, but what we just did was basically we realized our curves because otherwise we can't um, control each curve individually for example with a noise texture 
resemble curve. We add some detail because by default, a curved line has two points. Straight line can't have any curves whatsoever. So I'm going to add like 16. And then we have got a set position to offset the position of the curve a little bit according to a noise texture. Right, so it adds a little bit of randomization to that line. Now I'm going to set the detail to zero and the scale to be a little bit more or less. Let's see, let's duplicate the subtract node and set this to scale point 0.2, perhaps make it less strong. There we go. Beautiful, like that. Um, then for the scale of my instances, I also want a bit of randomization. So let's just copy this one, Shift D, and connect that up here. Oh, connect that up here as well to that scale, right? Minimum 0.3, max 0.5, perhaps. Mm, 0.4, max, minimum 0.25. There we go. And then we see that the start points of these curves are also moved out a little bit. And I want those to stick on the surface. So what I'm going to do is shift a mix vector and mix that to the offset of the noise and an offset of zero. So the old position and the factor that defines how that is mixed. I want it to be a spline parameter. And then let's swap these around, which basically means that when the a factor is zero at the start of these curves, we have an offset of nothing, right? But when it gets farther along that curve, it gets more F offset um, of the noise. Okay, beautiful. Something like that. Let's crank up the skill a little bit. Bit more strength as well. There we go. Quite beautiful. Now, curve to mesh. Provo curve is going to be a curve circle all right resolution can be like three very low very thin piece of our mesh and the radius 0.01 perhaps it's even too thick 0.003 right very thin hair something like that looks quite cool all right so we've got a raspberry wow then we can just move this up top so just press gx gz rotate this a little bit like that Move it inside of the liquid, perhaps, just like that. Let's see, is it too big? Maybe a little bit, something like that, right? We got our raspberry on top, looking beautiful, just like that. That has been part five of the Cupcake Tutorial series. If you like that, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. I would enjoy any one of those and get ready for the next one because we will be diving more into shaders, right? That's going to be fun. Thank you and cheers.